Cool. Yep. Um, hi, I'm Joseph Gentle. Um, I'm the developer of ShareJS, and I've um, I've been so I've I've just spent the weekend uh, at a hackfest, um, and so the people watching at home, uh, I'm going to show you guys what I've what I've done in the last you know couple of days. Um, so a while ago, I started mucking around with census data. Um, so the Australian census data, uh, the Australian Bureau of Statistics puts out their census data in a whole bunch of awful formats, which make it really, really hard, not intentionally, but it's really hard for people to, to you know, mess around with. So a while ago, I started this little project where, um, where I just reformatted the data into something that was much more usable. So um, I finished that up a couple weeks ago in anticipation of this little weekend. So I'll show you quickly what that data is so you know, it's available to you guys. This whole data set um, I'm putting up online um, on a website, and I'll put a link to it in the YouTube comments or something um, so you guys can see it. So this database, I've pulled all of the Australian Bureau of Statistics census data from 2006 in the base community profiles so far into this database. Um, what that means is that uh, down to the collection district level, which is like a few blocks, you can find out a whole bunch of vital statistics about, you know, about the area. Um, all of the data is arranged into tables. So if you imagine all of the people in, say, New South Wales, like um, how many of them there are, uh, we can divide that number of people in a whole bunch of different ways. So Imagine if I took all the people in New South Wales and I split by sex, then I would have two numbers, um, which will both add up to the number of people in New South Wales, you know, one for the number of males, one for the number of females. And I could add another split to that, so I could say split by sex and age, and then I would have, you know, however many numbers, which would you know, be a big table, um, of every, you know, how many males are age zero, how many males are age one, how many males are age two, how many females are age zero, and so on. Um, so we, I only have access to a limited number of tables from the census data, like I've only pulled out, and I've you know, put in the database the things that I can actually make tables for. Um, there's more data in the census and on their website to put into this, which would be delightful, but I don't have that, that at the moment. Uh, yeah, so I've got this, um, this is CouchDB, if you guys haven't seen it. Um, this is a, a database called census-mini. So this is a database that's just containing the data for postcode areas, local government areas, state divisions, and the country. Um, and I can, you know, so there's a whole bunch of records in the database, it's NoSQL, um, and each record is a JSON object. So this record is for the 06, so 2006 census, postcode area um, 2009, which is Piemont, which is where we are at the moment, um, at the delightful Google headquarters. And this database entry tells me um, exactly what data is available in Piemont. Um, so this is a list of categories, which is a big, ugly list of numbers, and I'll go through that in a second. And right down the bottom, we find out that it's at the level of postcode area, um, and it contains a whole bunch of collection district objects. So if you wanted to subdivide it further, you could see that information. Um, and it's contained by zero, which is Australia. Uh, and of course, I could just go to zero here as well. So this is the equivalent for Australia. Now, let's say I want to pull out some information. So I know that I've got access to the, all of the data in Australia split by category one. Well, um, I, if I type in cat one in, you know, as my data field, so I'm looking at ID cat one in the database. I find out that the split of you know split one is by name sex, so splitting on sex. The labels are male and female, and there's a whole bunch of other splits that we can do. So if I go to you know say cat two, I find out uh, cat two splits by age, and these are all the different values of age that we have access to. Um, and you know cat ten is uh, whether or not you're indigenous, so. Indigenous, uh, all people in Australia split by whether you're Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, or you're not Indigenous. Um, and so if we go back to the data, say, for, for Piemont, I know that I have access to the data in Piemont split by 1 and 10. So this is split based on sex, how many Aboriginal people live in Piemont. Um, and if I type in this magical URL into this database, so uh, zero, which means split based on the number of people there are. You can also split based on you know, how many dwellings. And then one bar 10 for the two categories. This is how the database is ID'd. Um, I find out this is categories 1 and 10, and here are the values for a table. So uh, remember, category 1 is split based on sex. Category 10 is split based on those Aboriginal categories. And I find out that uh, for males, there are 28 male Aboriginal people in Piemont. Um, five Torres Strait Islanders, three people who are Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, and 5,905 people who are, are neither, who aren't Indigenous in males. And in females, I have 3550 and 5332. Um, so that's, that's the data that's available um, in this database. 
So anything that you can potentially think of doing with all of this data, obviously you can do. So um, yeah, so I've spent the weekend making a really awful little web app front end to this. Um, I just haven't gotten it finished, and I've been distracted with a whole lot of things. And also, my HTML CSS is really bad. So apologies if this isn't very good, but well, if it doesn't look very good. Um, and I did it in Couch App because I've never done anything in Couch App before. Um, but if this is going to render in the window. Um, all this is doing is it's pulling in a whole bunch of the tables from Australia in this case. Um, and we are drawing a chart, um, split by sex. And that's how many males and females there are in Australia. So 49.35% of Australians are male, and 50.65% of Australians are female. Um, I should warn you that most of these charts aren't rendering properly. So this is everyone split by age and sex. Um, and obviously, this chart needs to be re, you know, reflowed. And I need to go through and configure all the options for the chart. Um, but you can see all sorts of things in here. So the number of indigenous persons in Australia well, we've got um, that many in Aboriginal people. And if I hover over, it'll give me the percentage. So 2% of Australia is, in, is Indigenous, or is Aboriginal. Um, and 97.71% of Australians are non-Indigenous. And obviously, there's a few Torres Strait Islanders and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders in there. Question? Go speak. Um, so yeah, so you can you know, muck around through all this data. Um, and uh, as I say, a lot of these charts aren't rendering very well. but. Um, yeah, uh, there's still some interesting stuff in there. Um, if I now, obviously, this is pulling in straight from the couch DB in which it's resting, because uh, in which it's residing, because this is a couch up, which is beautiful. Um, if I look up here in the URL at the end, it's got region slash zero, and if I change this to, the, to another region ID, say POA 2009, which, as we remember, is the postcode area for Piemont, um, I find out that. Piemont actually has more males than females. 52% uh, of Piemont is male, um, or the people who live in Piemont. Uh, ignore that one. And you'll see the numbers we looked at a minute ago, only 0.53% of the people who live in Piemont are Aboriginal. So that's a little, um, oh, and very, very highly educated people in Piemont. 53% uh, have year 12 or equivalent education. Um, although, remember, that's. Um, 27% of people didn't specify their education. They live in Piedmont, so you know you've got to take it with a grain of salt. If I go back to Australia again, you'll see that Australia has a much lower education, you know, higher school education completion of 33%. So yeah, um, so this is a little catch up. Um, again, I'm going to put it up um, online. Um, in fact, it's already online on, um, on my website, and I'll link to that in the comments or something on this video. Um, please, please help out if you want to, uh, fixing up the code. I've thrown the horrible mess of code that I've written up on GitHub. So anyone can, uh, can fork the code. And using CouchDB, you can replicate the database that I've put up online. Um, and you can muck around with this data yourself and make the web app better and prettier. And that would be really sweet. And with something like this, there's lots of stuff that you could do as well. Like, I'd really like to be able to see, say, if we were looking at Piemont, um, looking at Piemont when it loads. Um, I'd really like to be able to see like how this differs from national averages, say, or you could say, uh, you know, for in Australia, click on males or something, and how do how do all the stats for males differ from from those of the general population? So you know, you can you could drill into some part of the population and say, well, you know, how about how about um, I don't know, how about uh, you know, Buddhists? How do they differ from the population where we've got data available? Um, and be able to see like uh, how the stats run out. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's what I put up. Um, feel free to play with it. If you're curious about the census data, then by all means download it. Um, there's a lot of a lot of values there. Like there's a lot of data, um, and there's a lot of people in Australia. Uh, so so that. And of course, when the 2011 census comes out, which will probably be next year, then it'd be sweet to put all the data in here. And one of the nice things about an app like this is that as soon as we have data available, then you know, in the database immediately can become available in the app. Um, so that's all I had to say. Um, any questions? Uh, you mentioned before that uh, you had trouble getting the data out of the ABS, given that they're about to, well, as you say, next year, releasing the 2011 census data. Yep. Um, how would you, what would you say to them to release the data in a better format? Answer the repeat question. Yeah. Um, so I'll repeat the question. The question was, given that the 2011 census is about to come out, um, if, if I were the ABS, how should I you know, release the information so as to make applications like this much easier? Um, the answer is, uh, release it. first of all, release it in as raw a format as possible. So um, my understanding is that there are some super table uh, data in a, some particular obscure format. 
um, which is used to generate all of the data that the website returns. Return that. Give, give, give people like me a download link for that. I'll, I'll write a little Neo script to go through and pull it out into whatever data format that I want. But having it in the rawest possible form that, that you can provide while still making the data anonymous, of course, um, would let people like me do whatever we wanted and you know, let the imag imagination run wild. Um, the second thing I would say is that if, you know, if that's hard, then um, release as much as you possibly can and put it in one big giant download pack that I can grab and I can ingest into my own application however I like. Um, having things spread across a website in a million different tiny little Excel files makes making applications like this an absolute nightmare. Um, the census already has data packs arranged in giant CSV files, and they're annoying to process. Um, having it in a raw format would be nicer, but, um, but that's still much, much, much better than all the Excel files that they provide. So yeah, please, ABS, if you're watching this, um, you know, give, us, give us raw tables. Uh, that would be great. Um, I'd love to play around with it. Anything else? Cool. All right, well, thank you. <laughs>